This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza, and this is my normal life. I think it's relatively normal. Recently, I purchased a Cub Cadet CC30H, a very uh, diminutive uh, lawnmower. I like it. It's uh, good enough for me. It, I don't have a gigantic lawn. I only have a third of an acre. There you can see the key start. That's a big upgrade. I'm used to yanking a cord for my usual push mower. I've never had a riding lawnmower. I decided at age 78, it's about time I upgrade. To the left there, you see the turtle and the rabbit. And of course, turtle means slow and rabbit means fast. On the left side there, you have the brake. You press that to start the engine. You have to have that depressed. Here's the front area. It has a little uh, light for whatever that's worth. And so I'm not going to be mowing the lawn at night. And of course, a very cushy, straightforward uh, steering wheel. You push down to the uh, to go reverse and you push up to go forward so you have uh, some control right there which is nice i like that as a hydrostatic you know transmission there's the mulch kit that comes with the unit i like that and the mulching capacity of this unit is a plus i give it a solid a plus to the right you uh you adjust the height of the mower and to the left you engage it and of course there's a gas uh, fill and right there is the parking brake in case you want to get off and have the engine running you can have it in parking if you want here's a close shot of the steering wheel and of course a close shot of the chair let me lift this up once you get off the chair uh, it turns off the lawnmower unless you have uh, the parking brake engaged there's the back end of this Briggs and Stratton motor it's nothing spectacular it's a little bit rough it's not the best you push this down and and you can uh, roll this thing with your, you know, push it forward or push it backwards. So in case you uh, have a very specific space that you want to have it uh, parked. One of the reasons I purchased this unit has an oil filter. I want my lawnmower to last more than a couple years, maybe five years. That would be nice. So this unit has uh, an air filter. I mean, an uh, air filter, of course, but also has an oil filter. Here's a view of the front. What do you think? Let me get on board and mow a little bit of my lawn. I'm just starting to mow my lawn. This is my first time I brought it out on April 1st, 2020. It's been raining for the last few weeks, uh, last few days rather. It's been raining for the last few weeks also, but it's been raining definitely for the last few days. So I had to wait for the soiled uh, the lawn to dry up so I wouldn't make a total mess because you don't want those tires to totally destroy the lawn. So there's the uh, throttle. I'm playing with the throttle. Uh, when you have the throttle in the slow position and you are mowing, uh, it sort of rattles quite a bit. This lawnmower definitely likes to uh, mow at a faster speed, medium or high. And if you're going in reverse, uh, it <laughs> doesn't like that at all. It does not like going in reverse in slow and mowing. It does not like it. And it shows you. So here we go. I got it started and I'm going to cruise around the old uh, backyard. It only took me about a uh, half hour to mow the front, the sides, the back, and uh, behind that fence there, which I'm going to be replacing soon. That's my next project, replacing that fence. So many projects when you're a homeowner in Fort Worth, Texas. So a lot of jobs. So here I'm going in slow speed, and you can hear the racket. The racket it makes. It does not like going slow and mowing. It does not like it at all. It wants to go faster. So there's the crepe myrtles in my backyard. They're starting to uh, get green. Again, this is April 1st, 2020. One of the things I liked is the fact that my lawnmower can go between my wife's uh, you know, raised beds there, right through the middle. I can't go through the other section in the middle because it's a little too tight by about an inch and a half. So it works out pretty good. I still had to mow certain sections of the yard because of overhanging uh, bushes and you know, it was a little too tight. There's certain sections of my yard, especially in the front, that have uh, issues. Uh, uh, that's unless I fill in a lot of dirt, get a lot more work, which might be uh, on the agenda. So here I am going back and forth around the yard just to show you the maneuverability. One thing I really like about this unit, it's very maneuverable. Uh, take it out of my garage on the right uh, through the fence was no problem. But the other fence uh, to my left, uh, close to my neighbor's fence there, 
uh, is only 36 inches wide. So uh, this barely makes it. It barely makes it by like about a half inch on each side. I have to, have to line it up and just cruise on through. So. If you have any questions about this unit, feel free to contact me. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. On this channel, there I am lifting up the, uh, the mower head, the mower unit. You know better than I do. Of course you do. So there's, of course, better units. There's more gigantic units. There's, if you have a big yard, get a bigger unit. Uh, I have a tiny yard, only a third of an acre, and uh, I didn't want to you know, spend a few more bucks for something a little bit bigger that wouldn't fit through my fence and I have to go all the way around the block just to take it to the front yard and mow it. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to build another fence and of course these things are this only cost me 1400 bucks after discounts you know so that's not too bad. So what do you think of this unit? Do you like it? Do you want one? I like it. It's gonna make my life a lot easier. If you have any questions again feel free to contact me. Leave your comments uh, below the description. Make sure they're nice and friendly. Make them nice and friendly. I would greatly appreciate it. So this has been a test and review of the Cup Cadet CC38. There are bigger and better units, but there are also some cheaper <laughs> and lousier units too. My Normal Life. Uh, this is a series uh, on my channel. Typically I cover photography and technology and on my other channel RVing and travel, but on this one uh, it's rather eclectic. And again, this has been My Normal Life. Gracias. Adiós. Bye-bye.